During this video segment, we will help you with your inability to log into curriculum tracks. So maybe you're a teacher that is in a school that uses curriculum track and you're not able to log in. And this could be for one of two reasons. Either you don't know your username and password, or maybe you don't know the web address. Let's start first with not knowing your username and password. So let's go ahead and say you log in with your username and type in your password. You click log in and it says it's incorrect. So what you can do is you can click on forgot password and you can enter in your full email address or your username. I'm going to enter my username because it's a little shorter to type and I know my username. However, if that's the problem, you probably want to use your email. In other words, if you're not certain of your username, you might want to use your email. So I'll click send password reset link. So what that does then is it's going to email it to, uh, oops, I got to go to my email program then. Um, and notice there it is. And so I'm going to go ahead and to reset your password, use this link right here. So now I'll click on that link. And what it does then is it's going to ask me for my new password. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that information in. and click reset password your password has been updated so now i can go ahead and log in with my username and the password that i just changed it to and we should be able to log into our curriculum track account sure enough there it is as i mentioned though the other problem that you might have is the that you don't know what uh, web address to use. Um, this is kind of a cryptic web address, so if you get one of these characters wrong, uh, you might not be able to log in. So if that's the case, you're going to want to go to your curriculum admin folks at your school, your curriculum track admin, and have them send you a link. Um, they have the ability to send a link to you, and uh, if you are an admin and you forget how to do that, you're going to want to go to the support documents and in fact it's under teacher training and under the four admins area called email passwords to teachers. This now concludes this video segment.